Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I have a handbag reveal and first impressions. So if you guys have seen this dust bag before, you'll know that this is actually from The Row. And this is the first The Row bag I've ever picked up or tried. So I was really curious to see how the leather was, to see them in person, because I've never actually seen them like and held them in person. So I saw this bag, there was one left in stock. So I just snapped it up and I figure, let me kind of like look at it, try it on, get a feel for it. And I figured I would show with you guys just kind of my first impressions of the bag and my thoughts on it. So this is it here. I bought it on Forward. Um, if it's still in stock or if I can find it in stock anywhere else, I will definitely put the links down in the description box. So check there, but it comes in this white dust bag. It feels actually really luxurious. I do love this dust bag. Sometimes it can feel really cheap. This one really is like nice, soft microfiber. I mean, it does say the row down here and it is the beautiful, actually this is the back, this is the front, the beautiful half moon bag in black. So initially, um, I've seen this bag around for a while. It's been around for a few years now, but I thought this shape is actually super unique and beautiful. It's very simple. Um, and it's one of those like, if you know, you know bags. So it does say the row down here, very small embossed. And it has silver hardware. As you can see, the strap is not adjustable. So it's definitely just a perfect on the shoulder bag, as you can see here. And it's really beautiful. So the side is actually a little bit wider into the bag. The lambskin feels really nice and soft. Um, it definitely, I do think it'll scratch pretty easily. It already actually looks like it has a little bit of a scratch on the back just from, I don't know, transit or someone else has tried this bag before. Um, but not that noticeable. And honestly, little scratches and things don't bother me too much. But it does look like, sorry, I'm just like taking this in this is the first time I am seeing this bag also. And yeah, I mean, obviously on first like feel and touch, it does feel like a beautifully crafted bag. You could like tell that just by like feeling it, that it's luxury. Um, sometimes when you feel bags, I don't know, they don't feel that special, but I can definitely feel like just from the touch of this, it is actually very beautifully made. Um, it has that half moon shape, which I love. And if you open it up, so this one's stuffed here, but it has a micro suede inside in tonal black. It does have a little, the row tag made in Italy in the back here. And it's just one large um, pocket. There's no, there's no inner pockets or anything. And I would say size wise, this is pretty similar to like a Prada nylon reissue, except, you know, that would probably give a little bit more than this one will as far as closing. But I think you could fit easily like a phone wallet keys like all your like little essentials you could definitely fit in here maybe maybe sunglasses depending on the size in the case but it's definitely like a minimal daily bag not like a throw everything into a bag but you know i think it's really interesting and i would love to know your guys's thoughts on our label bags like very logo-y labeled bags are they out and are the minimal bags in or do you feel like there's a place for both what have you been leaning towards buying recently? Obviously, so you saw my vintage Bottega bag I just added in my collection and I've been loving Loewe bags too. And I feel like those types of brands, both like Loewe and Bottega, Veneta, are kind of like that like low, understated, minimal style bags, as well as the row. They definitely are like the little leaders of like super minimal, clean aesthetic. And I have been personally leaning towards more understated bags recently. I feel like there's definitely part of my wardrobe where I feel like some days I don't necessarily wanna have a like major logo on my bag, or maybe I have a logo somewhere else and I just kind of want my bag to be more minimal. So in my personal wardrobe, I definitely reach for those types of bags. I mean, I still love like my beautiful vintage Chanel bags and the ones that have like a logo on them, but I've definitely personally been leaning more towards like the minimal style bags recently. 
but I would love to know your opinion because I have heard sometimes people feel like those like less luxury bags are almost like easily duped or um, knocked off and they kind of like lose the appeal of buying a designer bag versus a more affordable option. But you can definitely feel like just if you are like a true handbag lover and appreciator, you can feel like the luxury in them. So I definitely feel like there is value in these types of bags, but I would love to know your opinions down in the comments, let me know. But yeah, I mean, just on first impressions, I feel like it's super beautiful. So um, I'm not like 100% to keep this bag. And mostly the reason is because I do have a lot of black bags in my collection already. So I'm not sure how much I really need another black bag. Although this is like a more minimal. I do have my Kelly. Sorry, I'm just looking at my bags over there. I do have like my Kelly. Um, but I actually really love this bag and the caramel color. I'll pop it on the screen here. If I can't find it anywhere right now. Um, but I really wanted to try the bag out, give it a feel, like see how I get on with it, like the size and everything and kind of make a decision from there if I want to like pursue maybe getting the caramel one in the future. But honestly, and you know, the price is actually not crazy. You would think like a lot of the rose stuff is very expensive, but I'd say these bags, honestly, like it's kind of on par with like YSL -y kind of prices. I mean, this bag was $12.90 pre-tax US dollars. So I think I paid 13 something with taxes. And honestly, I don't think that's too crazy. I mean, yeah, it's a logo list bag. So you could essentially say like you could get this anywhere. And I totally could see that. Like you could probably get a by far bag type um, style for like a much cheaper price. But I will say the quality is definitely there. I see the appeal for sure. And I think it's really elegant. Like I actually really love this. I think it's super functional. It's beautiful. It's super timeless. I don't see that this would go out of style anytime soon. Um, the cons would be that um, you can't do like a crossbody option. It's definitely just holding for the shoulder. And as far as like getting in and out of, I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. But I do think the leather is somewhat sensitive. So if that you're someone who babies their bags or like really doesn't want to mess up your bags, like this is definitely one that would scratch. So that is the con if you look at it that way, con. And also silver hardware. Um, I wear mostly gold, so I don't think that would clash too much because it's on the top there and it's pretty minimal, but just something to keep in mind if hardware bothers you either way. But yeah, this is it. Here's a close up the front and the back and you could wear it either way. It's supposed to be, I mean, I would assume with the row facing outwards. So just depending on which shoulder you have it, it kind of gives a different look. But yeah, so this is the bag. Let me know what you think. I would love to know your opinion. If you think I should add this bag to my collection or not, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. I have so much more handbag content for you guys. You can check back in my videos. I can put some related links down below to some videos you might be interested in seeing, some of my collection videos. And until next time, take care. Bye.